You might be surprised that I'm actually doing this on a Kenmore 158.1040. The mini Kenny, as they often call them. This machine is a low shank machine, so it accepts the attachment. But of course, there's no such thing as a uh, hem stitching plate for it. So I thought, what can I possibly do? And I used my 3D printer to make a plate. So this is my first try at it. I have no idea. I'm just trying it on tarlatan. I don't have any light enough fabric to uh, really um, make sure this is to, to do a proper test. However, it does seem to be working fairly well. I find a little challenging on this machine is actually the speed of it. <laughs> Surprisingly keeping it slow enough is a bit of a challenge. Might just increase the foot pressure which I haven't wanted to do before. Yes, that's made it work a bit better feeding properly now. Yeah. Tracking in the same holes that I made on the way up. Results look like. Actually, it's not too bad. You can see it's definitely done what it's supposed to, and it's working quite well. A few adjustments, I think, to get perfectly lined up, but uh, it's it's not terrible. And there is the magic plate. So it just slides in. What I did is I made the plate on the bottom so it just shoves in the hole and just slides in the hole perfectly. So I think that's a bit of fun for a little easy uh, simple project so that I can hem stitch on here if I want without having to lug out the big machine. Easy to do, works perfectly well. Oh well, lots of fun. Just need to try it with some fabric. But I'm quite happy with the results. It's definitely doing what it seems to be supposed to do. It's difficult to figure out how much foot pressure to put on this, but certainly before I had to lighten it, but it was too light before. However, something different. I can found that interesting. Bye for now.